everyone. Welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Going to talk about subordinate city generals today, how to set them up, how to choose them, priorities. If you didn't see yesterday uh, at Server Reset, I did release a short video uh, just to let everybody know for 24 hours, there's about 10 hours remaining, 30% off, up to 30% off, depending on your tiers in Aptoid App Stores. Use promo code Genghis. Now to today's video, subordinate city generals. How to choose them. So my situation is kind of unique. Uh, I, I, I'd guess my account's top 1% in Ebony, probably way higher because like every SVS, every battlefield, maybe there's one person on each server stronger than me. Uh, so anyways, advice for new players on picking subordinate city generals. So uh, for me, I have, I, I have to debuff what I'm attacking. I have to also debuff the attacks that are coming at me most often. So for you, if you're a new player, how to pick your subordinate city generals, you should be deciding what is used most often. Are you a defensive player or are you offensive player? What are you trying to kill if you're offensive? What are people always sending at you on the first attack for defense? Now, that's important. And I'm going to show you a little bit here. So from last All-Stars. So people basically hit me with two attacks all the time. Siege or range. So which one do I want to debuff more, right? So if we look at these, so this is uh, Siege. So I have to debuff Siege a lot, like they come at me. Uh, but when my Siege are gone, first thing they send at me, so this was another Siege, and this was a big one, because I had no reinforcements, and as you can see, I'm at 26 instead of 31, so that hurts. And then, they send Archer. When I have no Siege, they send Archer. But I'm dead already, right? Like, if I don't have Siege, I can't defend Archer. So is it worth defending Archer for you if you're a new player? Sorry, is it worth defending Siege if you're a new player and they're only sending Archers at you? Or is it worth defending Archers if they send Siege, Siege, Siege at you and then go after Archers? So, or go after your horse and set by sending Archers. So it's something you have to think about. Um... Are people sending ground at you because you're below 1 billion, right? Like that's kind of the new common attack. Big player just sends horse or ground at you. Which one is more often? So you have to decide which one to debuff. Now that's going to go into your subordinate city gear as well, right? So I have to move mine around for all stars. But uh, anyways, when you're looking at the gear, you have to decide, am I going to use this helmet? Because people are always sending ground at me. Or am I going to use this helmet because it debuffs mounted attack? That goes into picking your generals. I don't want to get too much into that right now. Just stick on the general debuffs. So, for example, Cece, she defends ground really well. She debuffs them. Nero defends everybody. I recommend everybody should have a Nero with the HP. Uh, AJ is archers. All new players should probably have that. So if you're a new player, people are pretty much attacking you with ground or archers. So those are the things you're going to have to debuff. And it depends if you're a T1 trap or not. There's so much to think about. So basically, if you're a T1 trap, don't debuff archers. You should be using people like CC, Nero, any other ground general, any other ground sub general. This guy's pretty easy to get. He reduces a little bit of range, but lots of ground stuff. And pretty easy to get him to seven or eight stars. He's in a lot of events. Uh, so... Baldwin, if you're a T1 trap, he's pretty much useless for you. I would not be using him. I know he looks cool, and I know he's you know a premium sub-general, but he really doesn't fit what's needed for you. So if you're an offensive small keep who ghosts all the time, you should be using Andrew Jackson's because you're very likely sending archers at people. So you want to debuff what you're attacking. And in this case, it's horse HP. So you want to lower that level on the enemy. You could also use one of CC because she does uh, do an overall ground, overall defense, 15%. And that is important to lower on horses as well. People do forget about that. Nero lowers HP on every single troop. He's important. Uh, how many you're going to go with of each is totally, it's really going to come down to how many subs you have. If you're an offensive ghoster at an early stage, 
I would be using just all Andrew Jacksons. Like if you have like six subs, if you have seven subs, probably the same. Once you get into eight, nine subs, I'd probably add a CC and a Nero and go with the rest of Andrew Jackson. Assuming you're not a massive coiner, because most people who are like 600 mil and ghosting to attack are not big coiners. So that's how my advice would go for that. If you're a T1 trap, almost like 99% of T1 traps have horses as the main T1 troop. Very small amount have ground. But the ones who have horses, people are going to be trying to hit you with ground by accident or rallying you with archers, right? If they rally you with archers, you're dead. There's, there's no hope. So this is kind of the point of the video. Defend what you can defend against, what you're built to defend against. Don't, build, don't uh, focus on things that are going to be the second hit on you or things that are going to overwhelm you and kill you anyways. So if you're a T1 trap with horses, you're trying to kill you're trying to get points when people are sending 4.5 million ground troops at you, right? So debuff ground troops. You should be using CC. You should use Nero cuz he debuffs HP and it's really hard to debuff. You could use multiple CCs. If you don't do any if you don't do any Half hunts of attacks with your T1 tra trap. You don't need Andrew Jackson. I wouldn't be using him. I would try and get even more CCs. And then, of course, like I said, if you have lucked into a little bit of money, a little bit of packs, and you can find an Amir or a Darius, yeah, use them, especially if you could get them up a level. But other guys, like Mark Anthony, reduces range. He's not going to help you on your T1 trap when you're trying to defend against... Uh, ground solos and right here this guy same he's awesome but he's really not set up for t1 traps and let's look at farragut reduces enemy range and siege and enemy ground and mounted troop defense but then as you go up you're gonna have to get him to seven stars to really get to him starting to help you more on ground and then eight stars more ground nine stars he's like I've always said with Farragut, he's a really good sub-general if you could get him to nine stars, but that's not easy. This guy's become a little bit easier to get. Uh, reduces enemy troop attack. That's good. And enemy ground, another 30. So 40% and then ground, ground, ground. So if you could get this guy and you can get some pieces, he would be a premium general for a T1 trap. Now, if you're... An early coiner, you, you didn't do T1 trap, you're three, four billion in size. You need to use guys who defend archers. That's what people are going to be attacking you with. If you're three, four billion in size and you're like, you know, C5 all star, C4 all star, you're building up, you plan to be 20 billion, you need to have archer defense guys. You need to have guys like Andrew Jackson, like Baldwin. And then in the future, you're really going to have to consider switching to some siege generals because you're going to start to notice, like I do, uh, people basically send one archer at me. They want to kill my horse because horse help defend against siege attacks. And then it's just siege, 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 siege. Like All Stars is a bit of a different beast where people send siege, siege, archer, siege, siege, and then archer, you're dead. Uh, or anything and you're dead. Regular battlefield for me. The sequence usually goes one siege, one archer, and then like seven or eight siege until they get me small enough. Then they'll probably start hitting me with horse to try and kill all my ground troops. But there's no point in me trying to defend those horse on the 15th attack. I'm dead. I don't have any siege left. I don't have any horse left. I'm dead. There's no point focusing on that. Focus on the first attack that people hit you with or the first attack you hit people with. That is the advice in this video. So let me know in the comments what you do with your sub generals. Don't become like a jack of all trades. Don't have like one for archer, one for ground, one for horse. Pick what people battle you with most often, whether you're choosing the battle by attacking or they're choosing the battle by attacking you. Whatever troop you see coming at you, set up all your sub generals and all your subordinate city sub general gear to fight against that and you'll get to live longer because people will have to do that attack on you more often to get a positive result so they eliminate those troops and then they can kill you and you can always heal and keep those small troops alive right so like subscribe leave a comment